Hey third graders, today you are going to see my final copy of my opinion letter so that you have a good guide for how yours should look when you're finished. I'm going to read it to you right now, but at the end I'm going to zoom a little bit so that you can see the entire letter. You can see all those parts that we've talked about. All right, so you notice I have the date and then I have it addressed right to President Biden because that's who I'm writing to. So it says, Dear President Biden, over 25 million people in the United States have contracted COVID-19, and sadly, almost 450,000 people have lost their battle with the virus. Stores and restaurants are closing, closing their doors, and students are forced to learn in new environments while facing many challenges. As a public school teacher, it is my belief that the U.S. should have a federal law requiring people to properly wear face masks in public places. First of all, the virus spreads quickly and easily without a mask. People can inhale germs if their nose and mouth are uncovered. Those who are sick are passing the extremely contagious virus to others when they don't take precautions like wearing a mask properly. If everyone wore a mask in public, the chance of spreading the disease would drop dramatically and lives could be spared. Secondly, people unknowingly spread germs when they don't wear a mask. Many people don't have any symptoms at all, yet they are infected with the virus. They are putting others at risk accidentally. Often, a person will show symptoms of the virus, but not right away. The days leading up to that are when they are most contagious, and by that time, they have already exposed those around them. You might be thinking that no one would purposely get others sick, and I think that's true. But imagine if everyone wore masks and we didn't have to worry or wonder. Finally, as a teacher, I can attest to how difficult it is for students to learn virtually. Many families don't have adequate internet connection, which makes it frustrating for their children to do schoolwork in a timely manner. They have difficulty watching teaching videos and uploading assignments. Oftentimes, parents need to work and students don't have help or support during the school day. That means they're learning on their own, or worse, not doing any learning at all. We all know virtual learning is not an ideal situation. It's true that many families chose remote learning for safety, but they were not prepared for this pandemic to go on as long as it has. Virtual learning is a temporary solution, and the long-lasting effects won't be evident for some time. If proper mask wearing were a federal law, the virus could be contained and students would be able to return to the classroom where learning is more effective. As you can see, having a federal law requiring people to properly wear face masks in public places could be the missing puzzle piece to getting our country healthy and back to normal. I am hopeful that you will do the right thing and consider my suggestion for the good of the nation and the citizens who deserve more. Sincerely, Angel Linderman. So there's my entire opinion letter, right? My, it takes up one entire page, okay? Let me zoom out, make it a little bit smaller so that you can see all the parts and pieces of it. Okay, I'm gonna make it a little bit tiny. So you're not gonna be able to really read it, but you're gonna be able to see the format of my letter. Okay, you'll notice in the top right-hand corner, like we copied down, there's the date, all right? Here is my greeting, who I'm writing to. You'll notice that the body, that's the third part of my letter, the body or my message is in five different paragraphs. You're gonna see the beginning of every paragraph, there's a big space, right? That indent that we push that first line in. So your eye can see, here's one paragraph, a second paragraph, a third paragraph, a fourth, and a fifth paragraph, right? Because we have our two triangles and our three rectangles in the middle. So there's my proof that I have the body or message of my letter. So that's my third part. And then at the very bottom, you'll see that I've got my closing. I use the word sincerely, and I have my name signed to the letter. All right, so here's a good example of what it looks like. Obviously, you can go back and you can pause the video and reread it and look at it and enlarge it and make it as big as you need to to be able to see it. But this is what 
uh, a friendly letter looks like. It's got five parts. Remember, we copied down our hand and we wrote those parts inside. So when you start to publish yours on Monday, you'll know how to lay out your uh, letter and what it should look like. All right, we have some expectations for you. So make sure you follow those directions. You look and listen and watch so that you know exactly what to do.